question number four, folks. We are now in back logging. What is the total number of edges on shape A? Question number four A. Now, what are they talking about edges? So let's have a look. Let's do a bit of highlighter. So we have how many edges here? One, two, three, and four. And then we have how many in the bottom? One, two, three, and four in the shape, yeah? That's four and four is eight. And then we have how many along the... Uh, so we'll have one here, one here, one that we can see over here, and the one that we can't see at the back over there. So how many edges do we have all together then? Okay, so we have four, eight, and another of the four. So that gives us a total of, as the Malibu has correctly said, that gives us an answer of 12. Okay, next, four part B. If the shaded cross-sectional area of shape B, shaded cross-sectional area is this part here, that's cross-sectional area, is 10 centimeters squared, and the volume is 70, so they're telling you that this here is, is going to be 10, and the volume is 70, what is the length of side X? So we know the volume is equal to the, I'm just doing the work it out here because I've got more space. So this is not part A, but the way part A is here, here's part A. This is part B. Volume equals area of the cross section multiplied by the length. Now, we know that the volume is equal to, what's the volume equal to? Okay, the volume they've given us is 70. And the area they gave us, the area is equal to? 10. And what they haven't given us is the? Length. Okay. Now, what question are we on now? Question is 4B. Okay, so 10 times by a number is 70. What's the number going to be? 7. So the answer to part B is? Point note centimeters is the length of the shape. Okay, that's lovely. I'm just going to quickly... Has everybody got that down? I'm going to blank the page now. Got it? Can you bear? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, question part C now. If the shaded cross section area of C, now I'm gonna leave the, I need to leave the diagram here. I can't move the diagram. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna read the question to you now. If you can, you just quickly go forward and come back. Okay, question is if the shaded cross section area of shape, of shape C is 35, what is its volume? Let's go back. Okay, here we go. So now I'm gonna work it out over here. So it's a volume is equal to, again, is equal to the area of the cross section. And multiply that by the, what have they, what have they called it here? Okay, in here we've got the height. The height is the same as saying length in, in, in the previous question. So it says here that the cross-section area is 35. So what is this area here, folks? This area C is? Centimeters squared. And we know the height is? 6. Let's put those values into the calculation. So we have 35 over here. And we multiply it by 6 over here. And that should give us the volume of this shape. Right, 35 times by 6. Let's do the calculation over here for those of you who want to do manually. So we can see over here nice and clearly on the screen. 5 times by 6 will give us? 3 times by 6 will give us? 18 out of the 3 will give us? 21. So that will give us a volume of 200. And so I'm not going to move the page down. I'm just going to write it down here for you. So the answer, that question is question C. Is that right? So question C, I'm just going to annotate up here. So the volume is equal to 210 centimeters cubed. That's my answer for C. I'm not moving the page down because we lose the diagram. Okay, question D. I'm going to read question D out to you folks because again, I need the diagram. Okay, I've lost my pen. Question D. What is the ratio of the volume of shape C to shape B. So, C to B. And we're looking at volume of C to volume of B. Right. Folks, can you remind me what the volume of C is? The volume of C is what? 200 and? 210. And what's the volume of B? We said earlier, so I can't see it now. What was the volume of B, folks? Uh, B. Volume is B is 70. Okay, in, in question B says there that the volume of shape B is 70. So put 70 over here. Now, the question says here now, what is the ratio of C to B? That's the ratio. Can we simplify the ratio at the moment? Yeah? What can we do first of all? 
Because so first of all, divide them both by 70. So 70, we divide that by 70, and 210, divide that by 70. So that will give us, because 70 is the highest common factor, that will give us 3 and 1. Okay, and that is the answer, folks, to part D. We've got one more part left now. Question part here, again, I'm going to read it to you. I can't move it out because we'll lose the diagram. Mark below which shape has a cube number of vertices. Okay, cube number of vertices. So question, what question I'm going to question 4E. Right, in a cube, how many vertices do we have first of all? I'm going to clear all of the stuff here because I don't need any more. Okay, let's count the vertices. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 1 at the back we can't see is 8. How many vertices does a cube have, or a cuboid? Has 8 vertices, has 12 edges. So we have 8 vertices. So that's 8. Okay, hang on a second. That's for 8. The question says, mark below which shape, which shape has a cube number of vertices. So A has it. Okay, what about B? How does B have? So you have 1, 2, 3, 3 on this side, 3 on that, so that will give us 6. Okay, and that will give us more than that, yes? So the answer has to be just A. So question 4E, let's write it down here so you can see it. Question 4E, the answer is A. Okay, let's quickly go on to the last question, folks. Parents are waiting. Which one? Okay, can we just do what this is what I'm saying? Yeah? Okay.